Good Wednesday morning everybody. Decided to get up a little bit early this morning and see Michelle off. And that is the face of somebody who has just up upgraded the iPhone to iOS 10. I have. Who's that this morning? First impression? Um, it's got some new stuff. And there you go, that is a technical review. It's got some new stuff. I haven't really had a chance to have a proper look at it yet. So there you go, our review of iOS 10, it's got some new stuff. <laughs> awesome. Well, I must admit, I am a bit jealous. I think it, it's, I'm not sure if my phone up, upgrades. Oh, I had to ask for it, so you might have to And that is what, that, what? That was a Mich Michelle sending me a text. <laughs> Okay guys, a slight better review than what we just said, it's got new stuff. I'm just about to install iOS 10 on my iPhone 6. It's now coming up to 7.15. This will let you know how long it takes to install. So I'm going to press... It might take about 10 minutes. I'm going to press the download and install button now. Excuse me why I don't show you my passcode. Download it and install. It'll just be downloading itself, but you don't need to press it. I have to press agree, I know that. I'll have fail. And there we go, quarter past seven. Let's see how long that takes to install. Bye. Bye, see you tonight. We're good day at work. Thanks. Email you later. Okay. So that's Michelle off to work. So, what shall I do? Carry on drinking coffee. Okay guys, it's 7.58, so just shy of 45 minutes and uh, iOS 10 is installed on my iPhone 6. But now I've got to install seven updates for applications. So that's what it's doing now. Me Audible, Snapchat, Messenger and such. Now, from reading up on it, I've got the iPhone 6. So I don't get the full functionality that Michelle's going to get because she has have the iPhone 6S. I kind of won't have the 3D touch as it's been described on the YouTube as we've been watching it. But we'll see what it'll do. I'll speak to you shortly. It's really nice living in the country, apart from one thing. It gets warm in this house, you open the window, and what you get is the nice fresh smell of what the farm has been doing on these fields around you. Yeah, downside to living in the country. It stinks. So, we're going to have to be warm. Moving on. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do now, I've put a chest strap on and put a camera on my shoulder. I'm just going to give it a little bit of an experiment to see how it is. I didn't want to put the chest strap over my clothes because it's a bit constrictive and it just... Well, I tried it and it looked stupid. Obviously, it just makes my belly stick out, which is never good. So, I'm going to give this a try whilst delivering a letter. Oh, well, it's posting a letter, not delivering a letter. And we'll see what it looks like. Okay, come with me to the post box. And it's a pretty horrible day, eh? Right? As you can see and there is absolutely no wind so that farmer smell is not going away when the wind picks up we won't be able to smell that and that is how it long it takes me to walk to the post box the only post box in the village and look who's home Michelle had a phone FaceTime me before she's not in a very good mood I think she's had a bit of a bad day at work Chicken and bacon kebs. Cheers, yeah. Thank you. And you're having popcorn. And I think we'll go and watch some films. Fancy Disney? Yeah, Bake Off's on at eight, so. Yeah, I've got a couple of hours before Bake Off comes on. Yeah, Mel and Sue leaving Bake Off. 
BBC Cancel on Bake Off. Yeah, Cancel on Bake Off. We need to Channel 4, is it? I'm going to have to go and Google that and see what's happening. Yeah, Bake Off being cancelled. What a blow to me. Yeah, you. You, you really hate it. <laughs> okay, guys, because Michelle wants to, we're going to be watching British Bake Off shortly. We've finished watching Cosmos, so we've actually got through, binge watched all the way through that. Yeah. Just watching how to kill, how women kill people. Uh, to give Michelle some more ideas. Just watch one about till death is called till death is due part about women killing the husbands. And she's not flickering. Obviously, she's looking at interweb. Interweb. You're engrossed in looking at something, aren't you? Yeah, so we're going to watch this Bake Off and then call it a night, I think. Okay, guys, so that's Bake Off watched. Uh, it's time to call it for tonight. I didn't really get up too much. <coughs> now, tomorrow I've got my CT scan, so I'll get the uh, privilege of going back to the hospital, get my kidney scanned to see what's, go what's going on there, what's wrong with that. Terrific. And I've just been reading the instructions. I've got to drink a litre of water an hour before and they're going to inject to die and I'll need to drink a lot, a lot, lot of liquid when they come back so I predict tomorrow night I'm going to be peeing a lot which, you know, is part of the symptom anyway unfortunately <coughs> is weighing a lot because my kidney's not draining correctly that's what oh, so I've been told but we'll find out tomorrow when we get to hospital uh, and I've already got my backup appointment which I'm going to, so I'm going to be able to find out what's wrong with me before I go on holiday, because I think, when, when's the appointment? 19th? 18th? What, sorry? 14th. Oh, the 14th. So the, the Friday before we go on holiday, I get to go back to the hospital and they'll explain to me what's wrong. So, I'll know before I go to Florida. But anyway, with that, I think it's time to call it. It's absolutely miserable and foggy out. Hopefully it'll blow away overnight. Um, we'll get a better day than we had today. So with that, it's a good night from me. It's a good night from him. Good night. We'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>